What's up guys, so uh, just picked this tank up, I'm not sure the size of it, uh, in litres anyway, but it's uh, 100 centimetres by 40, so I would guess this is probably a, a 180, if not 240 tank, um, it's seen better days in fairness, it's very mucky, but that will all clean up, uh, the light unit's not working as you can see, so I've had a bit of a melting issue going on here. Uh, but it'll still be used as a, a crossbar, so I'm likely to fit this with some LED lights. Uh, only got one flap, so I need to order another flap. Uh, but it came with a stand. It's in not bad condition, really. Glass doesn't look too scratched, although it's very difficult to see with it being so mucky. Um, but you know, I think this has got good potential. Um, got this off Gumtree for 30 quid, so. Um, bargains to be had if you're prepared to do a little bit of hard grafting um, it may need resealing but I'll do a water test of that at some point uh, once I get it all cleaned up that is uh, but yeah it can't be bad for 30 quid so uh, that's brilliant okay thanks guys cheers bye hello guys um, right so um, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of work on my tank that I purchased a while ago now but as you can see, it's got some real bad water stains on it. Um, so, try everything from uh, bathroom cleaner, like Silic Bang, and all the rest of it. Uh, but it really hasn't come off. So, I've been doing some research on the internet, and uh, apparently, uh, this is the product to use by our keeper's friend. So, I'm going to give it a go, and then I'll show you the results in a minute. Cheers. So, um, it's just a, an update, so I've used a bit of Barkeeper's Friend on this tank. Um, hasn't quite taken it all off yet, all the, the, the uh, hard water stains. But it's very difficult to see here, but you can just see it's still there a little bit. So I'm going to carry on using it uh, and see if I can get it cleaned up. So I've done, I've left it on for a little bit as well, and uh, and uh, it seems to seems to be doing a little bit better. So let's see what happens. Cheers. Hello guys. Um, so uh, I was going to try and film this as I was doing it, but I can't hold a camera and drill a hole. So I've just drilled the bottom of my uh, 180 litre tank. So uh, with a 30 mil hole, just took it really gently with a, a diamond edge drill bit. So that's a 30 mil diamond edge drill bit. Um, I'll be using a bulkhead in there. So as you can see, the nut and probably a union as well, which is threaded on one side, so we can uh, change the pipes underneath it. So that's the idea anyway. So uh, first time I've ever drilled the tank, so uh, really pleased with the way that worked. Um, just watched the internet, made a little template just to go over the edge there uh, and hold it in the place. The trim was actually left on the tank while I drilled it. Uh, so I've just taken that, that trim off now, uh, ready for spraying as well. Um, so yeah, I just, just drilled it just to my time. Just don't put any weight on it at all. Just let the drill do all the all the work. Just take it really slow. That's the only advice I can give, you to, give to you. So don't have it on a high speed drill setting. Had it on the lowest speed setting and, it, and it's cut through that really nice and clean. So uh, what's going to happen next? Let's uh, try and move this tank a little bit so we can get my hand up there. Is that bulkhead will fit through there like so. Okay, so as you can see that's going to go through there like so. Go. That's uh, with the bulkhead fitted and also the union. So what well, this is, I'll be able to unscrew it uh, to move the pipes. Um, so even this bulkhead. Even this union fitting itself will unscrew from the bulkhead if, if need be. So I've just hand tightened that. You should see the bulkhead goes right the way through. Rubber on the inside. Um, and I'll put some PFT tape around the thread. I'm just going to try and make sure it's all bedded down. I haven't uh, tested it for make sure it's watertight yet, but I'll uh, we'll give that a go in a minute. If need be, I might just tighten that a little bit harder. But I'm just going to try hand tightening it for now. So uh, there we go. First uh, drilled aquarium for a bulkhead. Um, so we're going to have a standpipe going in here all the way up. 
um, up to here. That will be covered by the weir comb, so we've just got the one pipe showing rather than the, the two I had on the other aquariums, or even four at some times. Um, slightly wider diameter bulkhead as well. Um, so that should give enough flow, especially with it just being the one straight through pipe. It will have a lot more flow rather than the uh, the siphon effect of the uh, hangover back um, overflows that I had on the other tanks. So I'm just going to try the one overflow. Uh, if I need to, I'll drill the tank again, but drill it in the other corner. So I could have two overflows in here if I wanted to. Certainly got enough plumbing supplies to do that. So, uh, okay. So thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye. So here's uh, the next instalment, guys, um, of uh, the tank. So uh, as I said earlier, I've put the bulkhead in there now. So I've got a standpipe in there, overflow. Um, I've sprayed the back uh, black with a plastic coat. So on the outside, not on the inside of the aquarium, because uh, plastic coat is not aquarium safe, uh, but it's fine on the outside. Sprayed all that black. Um, that uh, overflow will be covered over by a weir comb, uh, which I'll put on at an angle, uh, which will be great. Cover all that up nicely. Drill a hole in the uh, cabinet, which uh, I'm not going to use this cabinet long term, but for now, just draw a hole in the bottom of the cabinet just to take the overflow pipe through uh, the bulkhead there. Um, and that's all really good, so I'm really pleased with that. Uh, none of this is glued. Uh, just use PFT tape to make that a nice snug fit. So that can be taken off and adjusted if need be. Uh, but as you can see, all the wall will just go straight through down to the bottom and out into the overflow when I built that, so uh, yeah, pretty good. Needs a bit of a just a clean up, but it's a bit dirty on the outside where I've just been uh, drilling and stuff. But uh, you can see it's in reflection, yeah, looking good. What do you think, Jasmine? I think it's good. I watched you do it. And it's very good. So all the, all the masking tape will be taken off uh, when it's all dry, when the paint's all dried, make a nice clean finish. Um, and then uh, we'll fill it with water, see how we get on. Uh, make sure everything's watertight. Um, we'll take it up from there. So, brilliant. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Hi guys. So, uh, as I said on my update, my Facebook page, um, I thought I'd do it at LED lights in this tank so uh, these have just arrived these are the original cross beam um, that arrived with the tank uh, with the flaps so I've done five strips it's five meter length of LEDs with a controller uh, a remote control and also uh, a cable um, a power cable the power cable is not extremely long it's about half a meter so I'm going to have to probably get a longer extension lead for that because uh, obviously electricity and water doesn't match but uh, this controller allows me to change the colours in the tank so I can have a white if I want to I can have an orange or a red colour blue uh, or I can uh, have a, a fading combination of different colours so uh, I had five meters. I was only going to use uh, two strips on each side, uh, but I had the five meters, so I thought I might as well make use of it. So I'll put it underneath, and uh, to be honest, I'm glad I did because uh, get a lot more uh, light going through there now. Um, it's going to make it look really good. Uh, so I can have any color I want to, yellow, even, I don't know, lighter blue, sky blue, which uh, looks nice as well. So. Yeah, this is going to look really good on this tank. Really pleased with this. Um, I think it's cost me about £25 for this strip of LEDs and the controller and stuff. So um, I'm not putting any plants in this tank at all. So uh, I don't need the lights to actually help the plants grow. Uh, this is just going to be an African cichlid tank. Um, so all they need is a bit of light in there just to show off the colour. So uh, this is going to do really well. I'm just waiting for the second flap to arrive because uh, obviously that came without a flap so that should be arriving later on today so I should be able to fit that 
Um, then I'm going to fit the weir comb through the back there, which we discussed the other day, um, just to finish it all off. But yeah, this was really, really simple to make. Um, so I'm going to just uh, show you. Make sure it's the acrylic. So uh, literally use the holes that where the, the light bulb fittings went in through and fed it through each side, background, looped it around basically, stuck it on. This comes with uh, like a sticky back plastic on the back. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to hold with the water. So I've got some clips as well, as you can see there. But, uh, I don't do a great job in fairness of clipping it on. Uh, so uh, we'll probably have to do something about that just to make sure. But yeah, so you can see I've done two lights either side, and then the one light underneath. Probably should have done two lights underneath, but uh, so a bit of a last minute thing. So just drilled a hole in the bottom there, just so I could feed it all through. The controller fits in there quite nicely with the cables. Uh, so I'll tape all that up. It is uh, walkproof LEDs, these are. Uh, but again, the proof will be in the pudding. But uh, yeah, really pleased with it. Okay, brilliant. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey guys, so next instalment. So um, just got the new flap arrived. So the back flap here. Um, you could get a new one because the tank didn't come with one. So uh, just put that on there. Give me a bit of a clean up on the front flap, which is the original. So is the eye bar. So just give that a clean. Uh, also. Putting the weir comb in there, so just letting the silicon go off there. Got a pump in there ready to go. Um, I run out of uh, mastic tape, otherwise I would have finished off the, the spraying because I had to extend the weir comb, as you can see there. Uh, it doesn't quite match up, so you get a bit of mastic tape, spray that up, hide that, um, and then it's uh, job done, I think. Um, Bit of plumbing to do, move stuff around in the garage. Uh, might build a proper stand for it so I can actually start putting my tanks up properly. Um, but uh, yeah, really pleased with the way that's turning out again. Uh, just really, really good. So there's a weird comb again. You can see the top there. So just use some uh, three mil lacquer acrylic. Uh, it goes in well with the, uh, the spray painting the black background. So, uh, and the lights and everything. Thanks for watching. Cheers. What's up, guys? So, um, yes, I managed to uh, tidy up my garage and move my uh, aquarium. So, uh, they're all located uh, in the same place now. So, I've now got the 125 litre and the 180 together. Um, both filled with water, both circulating through the sump that I've got over in the corner there. Um, haven't got any fish in either of these two tanks at the moment. Um, just circulating them through. Uh, the LED lights are working well. I would say though that the only drawback is the, the remote doesn't seem to work through water very well. So I'm going to have to drill a little hole in the top of the, the flap just so I can uh, poke the little LED thing through it. But uh, no, I didn't see that. It's now gone blue. Uh, which looks very attractive. Purple there now. Let's put on a fade colour. Fairness, I probably won't be changing the colour that much anyway. But uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd uh, share this with you. I'll show you how it all looks. So it's uh, really pleased with the way this is now looking uh, from a fishing perspective. Anyway, um, it's, it's starting to come together. So I've moved all my fishing gear and everything. Um, and all my DIY boxes uh, so uh, that's all sitting nicely in the corner of my garage now eventually I'm going to expand this out so I've got more tanks in here all running off one system um, I've got a feed in the back there so that's the, the valve going through there which feeds the water supply around the back uh, and into the tank the overflow is work, working really well on this the lid up in the back, show you the overflow. Just see it there with the colour. 
otherwise working really effectively really pleased with that probably do need to cut uh, a couple of millimeters off the top of that just to drop the water level a little bit but uh, it's uh, working really well really pleased um, I'll get some uh, coral sand to go in the bottom of this one as well uh, so I need to water some of that and then that'll help certainly bounce the light a lot more than what it is at the moment uh, weir combs in there um, I'm probably going to take that um, that uh, flow off of the off the pump in the back there. Um, I don't like the aesthetics of that, so I'm probably just going straight through the pipe. That needs to be connected as well, though. Uh, eventually, I'll get some fish in here. Um, fortunately, I lost a few fish during the move yesterday uh, while I was emptying this tank, so uh, a bit, bit upset about that this morning. Hopefully now these tanks are in place, we'll get them all cycled through. Uh, we've got all clean water going through there. Some old water was transferred over as well, uh, but as you can see, it's come together really nicely. So really pleased. Okay, keep watching, guys. And if you do like these videos, please press like on Facebook. Uh, not getting much in response from you guys, so uh, obviously it's important that. Uh, I'm doing these videos for a reason, it's not just for my benefit, so any questions, please do ask. Um, any questions on the 180 litre tank, what I've done on that, uh, then again, please feel free to ask. Cheers, take care, bye.